Let's move on to major drilling here. We have a subscriber wondering about major drilling and its outlook. I think major drilling has a fairly good outlook and it's had a fairly good year in the past year. In the latest quarter, for example, revenues were about 100 million versus 80 or 81 million a year ago. And the net loss that the company reported this time last year was nearly 10 million. And this year it's only 1.5. So things are going in the right direction for major drilling. And I would also say the quarter that just passed, so those numbers I just referred to, pertain to the months between November and January. And that, historically speaking, has been their weakest quarter because major miners and junior miners are generally not doing a lot of work over Christmas. It's just when they are reassessing, figuring out what they want to drill in the year ahead. And most of the projects they have are put on hold during the Christmas season. So that's that's a good sign of what's going on at Major to see that good of a performance during their weakest quarter. Yeah, no, definitely. Okay, uh, and the outlook on a go-forward basis? Oh, right. Um, the outlook, I would say, is good. The outlook is driven by two things. On the base metal side, it's driven by infrastructure spending, the rollout of electric vehicles, and the demand that that's going to place on the economy or on commodities. So things like copper, rare earths, lithium, nickel, all of those things will be in high demand. And major drilling is well positioned to help explore and suss out those deposits for miners. And then on the precious metal side, over the past 10 years, the reserve life of gold companies has declined about 35%. And over that time, the mine life has fallen from about 20 years down to 10 years. So even if gold stays kind of in its current funk and doesn't do anything, gold miners need to replace their reserves. So I'm quite bullish on major drilling because of those two features going on at the company. Fair enough. That makes sense. Yeah. I mean, speaking of EVs and infrastructure spending, I guess, you know, Biden's, what, $2 trillion infrastructure spending program, that's uh, likely to help this bullish outlook, would you say? Yeah. If it passes, of course. I don't know if it will pass. Who knows? Um, the Republicans certain, certainly aren't in favor of it, or that appears to be their position at the moment. And I can see that they, they don't want to go along with spending this big. And they already kiboshed the last spending that was 1.9 trillion so why would they go along with this and it is a huge price tag there's no doubt two trillion is a massive amount of money and for me the really interesting takeaway i had from his proposal as it stands right now is he wants to increase the electric vehicle charging infrastructure in the u.s to about 500,000 charging stations by the end of the decade and i went on the department of energy website and it says there are 41,000 42,000 charging stations now. So if he does that, that's a massive increase. And that's a huge amount of copper and other metals that goes in to the EVs and then the charging stations he wants to build. So I think that's very bullish for major drilling as well. 